everyone has a question from percentage the question is find the number a if 8.4 percentage of a is 42 second question is 0 0.5 percentage of a is 3 now a is nothing but the number that's a whole number the original number we and they are given 8.4 percentage of that number we don't know that number we have to find out is 42 now these are really important type of questions quite confusing too so i'm going to explain you how to frame it and how to solve it further now they have given a sometimes they're going to give you some other variable so let us write down the question once again so it is this is first question you have 8.4 percentage of a is 42 is is nothing but equal to 42 right so 8.4 percentage see 8.4 percentage percentage means per cent means per hundred so it will be 8.4 out of 100 or the simple way is whenever you see a percentage sign remove the percentage sign and then divide it by 100 okay that's it and then of means multiplication in place of of I'm gonna put multiplication sign and then we have a a is not the number we have to find out so this is equal to 42 you can see we got an equation here and we have to find out the variable that is a now we're gonna just divide or we uh, multiply like do the cancellation uh, how much you can do it and then bring it to the reduced form so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna uh, just transpose a number and I'm gonna can do a cancellation so I want only a here on the left hand side I don't want this 8.4 and 100 on the left hand so I'm gonna transpose them so first I'm gonna transpose 100 to the other side now if you see 100 is in division right and when you're transposing I, I guess you have learned transposing uh, transpose method in your sixth class you can transpose the multi the number which is in division goes to multiplication on the other side so this will be 8.4 multiplied by a is equal to 42 multiplied by 100 now again I want to transpose this 8.4 also 8.4 is right now it's in multiplication when you transpose when it comes in division so a will be equal to 42 multiplied by 100 divided by 8.4 right now now 8.4 like I don't want the decimal here I gonna remove this decimal sign so you have learned that when you remove the decimal sign you will get a uh, numerator you get 10 that fine because after decimal have only one number one digit I have so you will get 10 if you have a two digit after decimal you will get 100 so how many digits are there that means zeros you will get that is 100, 1000, 10 like that so I will get 10 in the numerator that will get multiplied with other numbers and then do the cancellation now you know that 42 twos are is 84 right you can cancel this in 42 table directly so 42 ones are and 42 twos are 84 now we can cancel 2 and 10 here so it will be 2 ones are 2 fives are 10 so we left with only this 105 so 5 into 100 is 500 so a is equal to 500 that is your number so 8.4 percentage of 500 is 42 so this is how you have to solve it so I'm going to explain second question so you have to first understand how to frame it and then you can cancellation and you can do it so the second one we have half percentage that is 0 0.5 percentage so 0 0.5 percentage of a is 3 a is is means equal to 3 now like I said before remove the percentage sign and then divide by 100 so 0 0.5 divide by 100 of means multiplication and then we have a is equal to 3 now here we have decimal in the numerator now 0 0.5 our decimal we have only one digit so in the denominator we will get 10 if the decimal is there in the denominator in the numerator you will get the number so it will be 5 upon 100 now see 10 comes in division right it tends is like it will get divided there but since we already have a hundred in division 10 also will gonna come in the division but we have to multiply this 10 and 100 okay no, that's it so this is equal to 3 now we have to find out the answer uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a cancellation here you, you can transpose and you can do the cancellation so let us transpose like how we have done the first question so when I transpose this hundred and thousand to the other side so hundred and ten to the other side they, they'll, they'll come to the multiplication transposing division to the other side it goes to multiplication so we'll get 5 into a is equal to 3 into 100 into 10 now 5 is in multiplication when transposes to other side comes in division so 3 into 
hundred into ten divided by five. Cancel this in five table. Five ones are five twos are ten. Now multiply all this number. We have three and two. Three twos are six. Six into hundred is six hundred. So a is equal to six hundred. That's it. Only thing you have to learn here is how to frame this one. Once you got this one, you can able to solve it. So it's very simple question. This can come for three marks. Now, in case you have further question on this chapter, any other chapter, you can drop a comment. I'll try to solve it. Thank you so much for watching.